Welcome to Gotcha, the internet show which takes an in-depth look at classic movies, examining these cinematic masterpieces and their influence on the art of filmmaking. Gotcha, that's a lie. We just talk about movies that promise you a good time while delivering the cinematic equivalent of a dumpster fire. Today we're taking a look at 1998's Mulan, an incredible piece of classic 2D animation. Gotcha, we're talking about the shitty live action version. Strap in folks, this one is a real horror show. Warning, the following audiovisual content contains major spoilers. Warning, subscribe to Vito or I will perish in the flame. Now we all know the story of Mulan, a simple village girl who risks everything by disguising herself as a man and taking her father's place in the army. She quickly learns that her true strength is not physical prowess, but rather her ability to outwit her enemies. And the live action version is very much the same, gotcha, Mulan is now a superhero. The movie is not about coming up with clever plans to defeat the enemy, the movie is about watching Mulan do flips. Look at all them flips, so many, so many cool flips. What a great movie. Well, thankfully, Disney learned a lot from the Star Wars sequel trilogy and the many critiques of Rey's unexplained abilities, which is why this movie actually explains how Mulan gets her powers. Gotcha, they don't do that at all. Apparently, Mulan just has a lot of chi, which I guess is the Chinese version of the Force. So basically, Disney just gave us Rey Skywalker again, everybody's favorite character, and now she's Asian. Isn't that great? Wonderful. Okay, so the character has some issues, but at least all those classic Disney songs are back. Gotcha, there's no music, none of it. Not even that kick-ass Donny Osmond song. Let's get down to business. Hell, we don't even get the freaking Jackie Chan version. Oh God, this sucks. But what is good is that they looked at the original movie, which has a lot of fun, quick energy, and this movie is pretty much the same. Gotcha, every scene lasts forever. Why do you gotta stretch this stupid movie out to two freaking hours? In the original movie, it takes Mulan about 15 seconds to grab her father's sword. In this movie, it takes two of the most boring fucking minutes of my life. We gotta watch her take the sword down, she looks at the sword, she swings it around, nobody cares about the freaking sword! Just get on with the movie! Well, at least they got Eddie Murphy back as the funny little dragon. Gotcha, the dragon's not in the movie. What? Apparently Chinese people do not like it when you make fun of dragons. Do Chinese people know dragons aren't real? Like, they know that, right? Okay, no dragons, but at least they brought back the fun little cricket. Gotcha, the cricket is now a fat guy named Cricket. Why? Why on earth? Okay, no dragon, no cricket, but at least they brought back the captain character. He's one of the best characters from the original. It is great to have him back. Gotcha, the captain's not even in the movie. Are you fucking kidding me? Why? Well, and I wish this was a joke, but it's not a joke. Apparently the Me Too movement illustrated that it would be an improper power dynamic for a captain to fall in love with one of his recruits. I. I wish I was making that up. I can't. Ah, God. Okay, fine. You took half the good characters out of the movie, but at least you replaced them with some exciting new characters. Gotcha. The only new character is a witch for some reason. And I guess she shows Mulan what happens if you use the force for evil or something. And then she dies and you feel nothing. She is a terrible character. Oh, also Donnie Yen's in the movie and he tells Mulan to use the force more than she's already using it. Good. Now, one of the best things you can do in a war movie is kill off a character early on. This is something that really sells the idea that this is a real conflict with real consequences. So I'm sure this movie, which is supposed to be a realistic take on Mulan, will definitely kill off one of the good guys. Gotcha, nobody dies in the movie. The only people who die are the bad guys. You could have killed any one of her buddies. You could have killed Donnie Yen, but instead we have a bloodless war where nobody dies except for random grunts. Good work, script writers. I feel nothing. There's no consequences. Whatever, at least the, the battles are cool. You get to see Mulan and she's battling alongside her fellow soldiers, working as a united fighting force. Gotcha, Mulan does everything by herself. No help from anybody. This is a war movie where one woman defeats the entire opposing army by herself. If you're a man in this movie, 
You are not allowed to do anything. You get one hallway fight and that's it. Nothing else. Okay, so the battles are stupid. At least it's got that classic Mulan humor. Gotcha. There's no jokes. All the jokes are bad. I guess you do get that fun scene where all the guys cross-dress, sneak into the castle, double gotcha, no. You're not allowed to have that scene anymore. If you do that scene, Bruce Jenner comes to your house and yells at you. Whoa. What the hell are you guys doing? No more fun. All fun is canceled forever. Okay, well, there is one really cool battle. The two armies, they face off. It's it's a huge, epic duel. Gotcha, this is a Coke commercial. <laughs> it's probably got higher production value than this stupid Mulan movie, though. This is a hold up. All right, so Mulan gets exposed as a woman. She gets kicked out of the army. But then she finds out the bad guys are going to the capital, so she comes back and tells the captain. Now, I'm sure this guy who kicked her out and threatened to execute her if she came back probably doesn't trust her all that much. Gotcha! Not only does he change his mind, but he has her lead the charge into the city. You will lead us as we ride to the Imperial City. Why is she at the front? You went from hating this woman to making her the glorious leader of the entire frickin' army. This script is insane. Now, the whole movie, you keep seeing this dumb phoenix thing just flying around. I, I don't know why. I, I, it seems pointless. But at least it helps out in the final battle. It gives Mulan its phoenix power. Gotcha! It does nothing. It exists only so they can do that one shot from Game of Thrones. Why is there a phoenix in the movie? It doesn't do anything. Is it a Chinese thing? Chinese people, if this makes sense to you, please leave a comment. I don't get it. Anyway, at least the final battle, it's really good. It's just classic martial arts action. There's no stupid nonsense. Gotcha! She kick flips a fucking arrow. Are you kidding me? That's how she beats the bad guy? This is the stupidest... God, whatever, man. I'm so done with this movie. Okay, so Mulan wins the she wins the whole war, and now we're gonna have that classic Disney ending. The girl falls in love, they have a little kiss. Gotcha! No! The Chinese test audience said Mulan isn't allowed to fall in love. No kisses, they touch hands like freaking psychopaths, and then we never see this guy again. Love is dead, just sit in your house watching shitty Disney movies and and wait to die. Wonderful. Okay, so Mulan goes home, she hugs her dad, everything's great, and the movie ends. We get the credits. It's the credits, right? Nothing bad can happen in the credits. Gotcha! They thank the Turpon Security Bureau. What is that, you ask? Well, they're the guys in charge of running China's concentration camps. What the f***? shit! Apparently they shot the movie in the same part of China where all the concentration camps are! Are you f***ing kidding me? What the f*** is this movie? So whatever, we've got this depressingly stupid movie about a Chinese superwoman who gets all her powers from ancient Chinese wizard magic, a movie which forever ruins the legacy of the original, which was a brilliant piece of classic 2D animation, the likes of which may never be seen again because it is more profitable to churn out this garbage. But hey, at least Disney's happy because they made a fortune by sucking off the lucrative Chinese market. Gotcha! The movie is a f***ing failure! That's what you get! Stop making movies for communists! I don't care how much money they have! You are an American media company! Stop dumbing down cinema by making films exclusively for the same morons who made Transformers Age of Extinction the number one movie in Chinese box office history! And look, Chinese people, I'm sure you're all very nice, but you have terrible taste in movies! Just awful! You made Geostorm a hit! You are the only people on this earth who liked Geostorm! What is wrong with you? Anyway, the point is, I loved Mulan. I'm, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10, just a fantastic family movie. Gotcha, this movie makes me want to jump off a f***ing bridge! Whoever made this movie should be dragged into the street and shot! Disney, stop making trash! I beg of you, just stop! Oh, I need to lie down. <sighs> what a movie. What a wonderful, 
popcorn classic that Mulan is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed Gotcha. And if you did, don't forget to hit like. Don't forget to hit subscribe. It helps me out more than you can know. And if you'd like to see the uncensored version of that video, or if you'd like to see more Gotcha in general, head on over to patreon.com slash the veto show. It's the support of patrons like you. Patrons, patrons. I don't know what you call you, but your support is what makes my channel happen. It's what keeps the dream going. America, stay safe in 2020. Take care of yourself and do not pay $30 to rent Mulan. Just don't. I'm sure it'll be on Disney Plus in about a week. Nobody's buying a $30 ticket to this crap. It is... Oof, what a, what a bad movie. Disney, what are you doing? Come on.